Chagatai Khan was the second son of Genghis Khan. He was Khan of the Chagatai Khanate from 1226 to 1242 CE. The Chagatai language and Chagatai Turks take their names from him. He inherited most of what are now the five Central Asian states after the death of his father. He was also appointed by Genghis Khan to oversee the execution of the Yasa, the written code of law created by Genghis Khan. Though that lasted only until Genghis Khan was crowned Khan of the Mongol Empire, the empire later came to be known as the Chagatai Khanate, a descendant empire of the Mongol Empire. Chagatai Khan was considered hot-headed and somewhat temperamental by his relatives. Because of his attitude of non-acceptance Ajochi as Great Khan, he was the most vocal about this issue among his relations. Chagatai himself appears to have been a just and energetic governor, though perhaps rough and uncouth, and addicted to hard drinking. At any rate, he was animated by the soldier-like spirit of his father, and succeeded in keeping order among as heterogeneous a population as a kingdom was ever composed of administration and religious tolerance. In 1232, when sedition showed itself at Bikara, he acted with promptness, if with severity, and saved his country from a far-reaching calamity. He was, in all probability, an old-fashioned Mongol, for he stood by the Yasa and that he showed little favor to what was, at that time in his dominions, the comparatively new and rising religion of Islam. He must, however, have been fairly tolerant, for it is recorded that his minister for Transoxiana was a Muslim, called the Dumalat al mulk and that mosques and colleges were founded during his reign. Chagatai was neither ever inclined towards Christianity, though that religion, as practiced by the Nestorians, must have been familiar to him. Chagatai's own capital was at Almalai, in the valley of the Upper Ili, near the site of the present Kulja, and consequently in the extreme east of his dominion. His reason for fixing it in that remote position, instead of at Bikara or Samarkand, was probably one of necessity. His Mongol tribesmen and followers, the mainstay of his power, were passionately fond of the life of the steppes. The dwellers in houses and towns were, in their eyes, a degenerate and effeminate race, the tillers of the soil, slaves who toiled like cattle, in order that their betters might pass their time in luxury. They would serve no Khan who did not pass a life worthy of free-born men and Chagatai and his immediate successes probably saw, as his later descendants are described by Mirza Muhammad Haider Douglat to have seen, that the one way of retaining the allegiance of his own people was to humor their desires in this respect and live with them a nomad's life, death and aftermath. Chagatai died in 1241, after a reign of about 14 years, and within the same year the death of Ogaday occurred at Karakoram. Thus two out of four of the chief divisions of the Mongol Empire were suddenly deprived of their sovereigns, with the result that nearly the whole of the successes of Genghis Khan began disputing for the succession. However, for the time being, it ended in Turakina, Ogaday's widow, being appointed regent but lasting disputes remained among the rival claimants and for long afterward. The disputes regarding the succession to the throne of the great Khan became inextricably mixed up with the affairs, especially in the eastern part, of Chagatai's Khanate. Little is known of the way in which Chagatai disposed of his kingdom at his death, and there appears to be no mention anywhere of his having followed the ancestral custom of his house in distributing it among his descendants. He is recorded to have left a numerous family, but to have been succeeded by a grandson and a minor named Karahulagu, while his widow, Abuskan, assumed the regency. Mutukan Chagatai's son Mutukan was killed during the siege of Bamiyan in 1221. Turkestan, Transoxiana, and the adjacent regions were controlled directly by his descendants but not Kashgar, Yarkand, Khotan, Aksu, 
and the southern slopes of the Ti and Shan Mountains, or, in other words, to the province south of the line of the Ti and Shan, which is called, in our times, Eastern Turkestan. As regards this province, Mirza Muhammad Haider Duglet says that it was given by Chagatai, presumably at his death to the clan or house of Douglet, whose members were reckoned to be of the purest Mongol descent, and one of the noblest divisions of that people. The Douglets were thus made hereditary chiefs, or emirs, of the various districts of eastern Turkestan, as far back as the time of Chagatai, for it is chiefly on this incident that hinges the permanent division of the Chagatai realm into two branches, at a later date. Beda Beda was the second son of Chagatai Khan. He participated in the European campaign with his nephew Buri from 1235 to 1241. He commanded the Mongol army assigned to Poland with Kadan and probably, order Khan early in May 1241 they entered Moravia. Then they continued via Brno to join Bartu's main army in Hungary. The destruction in Poland, Silesia and Moravia was all much of the same kind. In 1240 Beda participated in the election of Gyuk Khan in 1247. Genealogy of Chagatai Khanate in Babr Nama written by Baba, page 19, chapter 1, described genealogy of his maternal grandfather Yunus Khan as Yunus Khan descended from Chagatul Khan, the second son of Klanjais Khan Yunus Khan, son of Wais Khan, son of Shah Ali or LDN, son of Muhammad Khan, son of Khizr Khwaja Khan, son of Tufluk Timur Khan, son of Aisan Buga Khan, son of Dawa Khan, son of Barak Khan, son of Yesantawa Khan, son of Muatu Khan, son of Chagatul Khan. Son of Chingiz Khan, Chate Khanates, a research project by Dr. Abdul Ralph Mughal Ancestry.